I'm waiting on you to tell me I can yeah, go to just work. Before I turn the camera on, you I were cussing ready, me out. I was ready to. But you were cussing me out. And you said, wait, wait. No, you, I you didn't tell say. Tell me, hurry, I said, hurry. And I then said, you said, the wait, wait. I said, get the denatured alcohol. And you come you out want the denatured? No, I don't. You just said, get the denatured okay, alcohol. I wanted the rubbing alcohol. Yeah, Will well, you wait a minute, please? Now, you're not even. Hold on a minute. We're not even going through the video right. You're rushing through it. Okay? This is DIY out of school action here, all right? You're being too loud. I'll go in the house if you're gonna be loud. Now, what do you got in your hand there? What's going on? What is that? What is it? What does it look like? I don't know. It looks it's like a rag. Toilet paper, wet toilet paper. It's a wipe out with alcohol. Okay, hold on a minute, please. I didn't say to wipe nothing. Oh, well, that's good. You just okay. threw that whole rag away. That was great. Yeah, when you tell me to get that was to work, great. Thank we'll you for it. throwing that brand new clean wipe all away that I have to pay for. Well, when you start working, let me know. Well, we were going to work. I was going through the procedure here of showing them what's going on, and you, you're like acting all fancy pantsy. Well, Pete, getting a paper towel and some alcohol. It's not a paper you towel. Like it's getting you're giving wrong people the wrong information. It's not toilet paper. It's not a paper towel. It's a specifically designed rag, or should I say towel, that is designed for paint body. And you're calling it pa uh, toilet paper, paper towels. And you know, it's a white ball. Yeah, okay. Automotive industry paint body white ball. I don't like the way you're talking to me right But now. the thing is, listen to me. I don't like to make videos with you because of the way you talk to me, okay? But listen, come so here. you do your video. Come here, man. No, we're ready to go. Come on. Let's go. We're ready to go. I need your help, please. I need your help, please. Please, me, the body shop girl. Let's go. Can you do this every fucking Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. We gotta get to wrap this up. This is actually part of another video that I'm doing. Please, me. Please. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Get another white ball, please. All right, while we're waiting on Maine the Body Shop Girl to come back and actually do some work, um, what we have done here is we went ahead and DA sanded this whole car. Now remember, I was telling you about hand stripping versus sandblasting. Let me go over a couple other tech tips to let you know what's going on here. When you hand strip it and soda blast it, epoxy primer is not required. You do not have to put epoxy primer on there, self edge primer, you don't have to do that. You go straight into your body work and then straight to 2K primer. So that's saving you a lot of money and a lot of time by doing that because when you sandblast your car, you have to put a sealer on it immediately to protect the metal. When you strip it by hand or you soda blast it, like I've been telling you here, you don't have to do nothing but do your body work, get down the road, and get her done. Am I right, Minnie? Yeah. Now, what do you think about sandblasting? Versus, what's it your depends opinion? on on the car. Right. So depends sandblasting is basically for undercarriage uh, engine compartment stuff. Right. You don't want to do body panels. Right. Okay. You can use it on the interior of your car, but it really makes a mess. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get down the road. We got men in the body shop. How you doing there, girlfriend? Shaking a hand. Try to make a friend. <laughs> you didn't like that. What's going on? Nothing, Pete. We're well, why are you treating it. me mean? Why are you treating me like the bad guy in the situation? I'm just trying to show people how to do this the right way. Use a wipe ball. Don't use toilet paper. Buy your wipe balls at Automotive Paint Store, not anywhere else, or they won't be the right kind. 
Okay, so this is made for paint and body industries type stuff here. Regular alcohol. What do we alcohol. got here? What is that? Go ahead. Regular alcohol. Uh -huh. Regular alcohol. What if I use denature? What's going to happen? You'll have a chemical reaction, I think, with that. No, you're going to have chemical reaction with the paint and body chemicals. It's very bad not to use that. Okay, so what do we got here? Um, what we're doing is we are cleaning the metal off because this car's been sitting for how many months? Months. Yeah, so what we're doing, we're using denatured out. I mean, I'm sorry. Quit fucking saying okay, that. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, boss who's, girl. Who's trying to mess up I didn't mean to, people. boss man, girl. Doing it on purpose, acting stupid. All right, so we're using uh, regular rubbing alcohol. And what you're looking at, Minnie's wiping everything down. She's even wiping the uh, Bondo, getting all the dirt and imperfections out. And then what we'll do is that will be primer ready. Now you can't do this to uh, uh, you can't do this to sandblasted material. And also, I don't know if this is true. I'm just gonna throw it out there. But Pete's always told me, don't rub it, wipe it. Okay, off. why would you say that? Being with me for 20 years. Because you've always told so me. So I don't lie to you, do I? I mean, well, you just said it. Yeah, I don't know if that's true. You want me to rub? No, hold on. You just said I don't know if that's really true, but that's what Pete that? told me. I don't know if that's true, but that's what Pete told me. That's what you just said. Well, because that's what wow. you Wow, I can't time. believe that. I'm insulted by that, Minnie the Body Shop girl. Well, I really, really am. True? I'm insulted that you would even say that. Look, you missed the spot, please. Because I haven't even watched it yet. You were paying attention. Okay, I'm just making sure. All right, we'll be back with you in a minute. Let's get that thing wiped down, man. We've got to get it done. I don't know if it's true, but this is what Pete told me. I don't know if it's true, like I, I'm telling fairy tales now. You're shitting me, right? Wow. <sighs> now, just yesterday, we were looking at the uh, sandblasted uh, Mercedes-Benz that we had sandblasted to get our parts, and look what's happening here. This is only like 24 hours, and yeah. So, you see the difference here. Um, I could have put that Honda outside for 24 hours and it could have rained on it and it wouldn't have rusted and rotted. Uh, if I came back in a month, the car would probably look like that old piece of shit that we're looking at that Norm picked up for $200 and thinks it's worth a million dollars. Yeah, nitpick Norm decided he was going to bid on this pile of crap and for, he got it for $200 and now he wants to try to sell it for a uh, uh, thousand or fifteen hundred dollars. Sure thing Norm, there's a lot of buyers out there for that rusted piece of shit. But I don't want to give Norm's hopes up, so we'll go ahead and, you know, just play the game with him and agree. Sometimes you got to do that. Okay, what's Manny the Body Shop girl up to? Let's see if she can agree with my friend Pete for once. You got her wiped down? Am I ready to put my primer on it? No, Pete. Okay, so we're not putting sealer, right? I don't know what you're doing. Okay. Why well, you keep turning your head on me? Because I don't like that in my face. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm way back here, 15 feet. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Um, that's what you're looking at. Uh, a hand stripping and soda blasting right here. You can see how beautiful it came out. You can see the texture of the metal. We still got our, uh, our factory etching that has been applied to the car, which will protect it for many, many years. And this is the way to go. We're not putting any epoxy primer on it. We're not gonna put anything on it at all. We're gonna go straight in to 2K primer and be done with it versus sandblasting that you have to immediately put epoxy primer or some type of a sealer on your metal once you get it back and if you don't it's gonna rust we'll see you later take it easy my friend pete your friend pete doing it right doing it right and putting up with me the body shop girl and she's doing an awesome job wiping down the honda for primer so my friend pete can get her done Okay, you want to say anything before we go? Nothing. I'm ready to go to work, so I don't have to You don't want to say anything at all? I'm ready to go to work. Nothing. So That's all you got I'm ready to go to work, so well, I don't have to be here. Okay, well, good luck on that, and we'll see you later. That's not nice to say. You know that, right? Well, if you didn't treat me like that. Well, I'm not doing nothing. Who's talking, tra who's talking trash? Who's doing the trash talking? I'm being a nice guy, okay? Come on. You need the body shop, girl. Come on respectful girl that you are. Thank you. Thank you. We love you too. Don't use that rag again. You just dropped it on the ground.
watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything. <laughs>